Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Dominique Woodward and I'm a trauma-informed life coach. Today's video is going to be all about how to build greater internal confidence and trust. So if this is an area that has been a challenge for you and you're looking for some easy ways to begin building this self-confidence and trust, be sure to keep watching. So many people think there's only one type of confidence, which would be known as external confidence. This is the type of confidence that makes you feel really good and proud of yourself from external validation. Maybe it's someone telling you what a great job you did on your most recent work project, or maybe it's that you often get compliments because you wear beautiful clothing and you really take pride in the way you look. Now there is absolutely nothing wrong about external confidence. It however can become problematic for many of us when that is the type of validation we are primarily seeking. So a couple examples of unhealthy confidence would be, I'll be happy when I finally get my raise, or I'll be fully confident when I finally lose the weight. And studies have actually shown that it's with internal confidence that we begin to build this self-trust and greater external confidence. So let's talk about the first part to building greater internal confidence and trust. And that is simply understanding what internal confidence really is and what self-trust really is and what it would look like for you. So internal confidence is a state made up of how we feel and think of ourselves. And this is something that can change quite frequently depending on the situation that we're in and how we respond to that. And then if we look at what trust means, it's a firm belief in something or someone. And so if we're lacking self-trust, then that's ultimately us lacking belief in ourselves. So the combination of internal confidence and self-trust is where we start to build that greater overall love and appreciation for ourselves and build that stronger relationship with ourselves that translates to stronger relationships with others. So now that we have a better understanding of what internal confidence and trust really is, Let's get to the good stuff, which is how to actually build internal confidence and trust. Research has actually shown that the number one factor in building greater confidence and trust is by practicing self-efficacy. So simply put, self-efficacy is a practice that is done regularly to build greater self-trust. And something that is really important to understand about self-trust is that it is just as important, if not more important, than putting trust in someone else. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, actions speak louder than words. So if someone is to tell me that they would do something for me every day and didn't follow through, that would be a great impact on my ability to trust that person. So you want to look at yourself and your own promises to yourself the same way. And without our own trust within ourselves, then that leads to a broken relationship within ourselves. And of course, it's something that would certainly translate to greater challenges and difficulty with relationships with others. So let's talk about some ways that you can build greater self-efficacy in order to build greater internal confidence. So I'm gonna give you a little challenge here. For the next 30 days, you're gonna choose one small thing, one small promise for yourself that you can do every single day. And it needs to be small because if we are already starting off with little trust in ourselves, the smaller the activity, the more doable the activity, the greater success we're gonna be having. And the small activity may be stretching for 15 minutes a day or reading one chapter of a book. Maybe it's simply having one glass of water first thing in the mornings. 
It needs to be small and it needs to be doable in order for us to strengthen that muscle of self-trust. So by putting into practice this one small thing every day for at least 30 days, you're building a stronger relationship with yourself. You're building greater internal confidence and trust that over time you'll be able to follow through on the bigger challenges, on the bigger goals that you have for yourself. Now there will be days where you maybe don't get this one thing accomplished. And the important part here is to know that it's okay because you're human. And by practicing a little bit of love and recognizing that, hey, today was an off day, I have tomorrow to get right back on. That self-love and recognition that you're trying is gonna help keep that momentum forward. Because again, we're looking to gradually build that muscle of internal confidence. There will be little hiccups along the way, and it's just about recognizing that this is practice. This will get easier in time as long as you show yourself some kindness and love just as you would a loved one who's doing the best that they can. So I would love to know down below in the comments, what one thing are you going to start doing for the next 30 days to build greater internal confidence and trust? So the one thing that I plan to do for myself is to stretch for 15 minutes a day. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I find that I've been hard on myself if I don't do my longer yoga practice when I say I'm going to do it. And so I'm gonna take a step back and start off a little bit smaller. I do have the time to at least do 15 minutes. And so by starting at the beginning, I can get that momentum going again build that trust within myself so I can begin to follow through on those days where I wanna have longer practices. I can't wait to hear what your one thing is gonna be for the next 30 days. And if you enjoyed this video, then I would be so grateful if you showed it some love and gave me a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, then come join our family. That way you never miss out on any of my new videos. I'm looking forward to seeing you in next week's video. And until then, I'm sending you so much healing love.